In this video, we are going to add parts to the design library and create new parts. First, let's copy parts from an existing library. Select File Open Library from the menu. Use this path to access the default libraries provided in Capture. Select the CapSim library. Clicking on the arrow will give you the ability to view the library as floating, docked, or a tab document. Select Ground Power and Title Block 3. To select multiple items, hold down the control button and click. Copy using Control C on the keyboard. Right click in the design library and select paste or use Control V. To rename an item, right click and select rename. You can view a library part by double clicking on the name. To create a new part in the library, right click and select new part. Name the part USB micro B. Set the prefix as X and the PCB footprint as USB micro B. Click OK. Adjust the boundary box and text by clicking and dragging. Place a rectangle for the part by selecting Place Rectangle from the menu. Click and drag to draw the rectangle. When finished, right click and choose End Mode or use Escape on the keyboard. Next, add the pins for the part. Select Place Pin from the menu. Under Name and Number, assign Ground. For the shape, select short, and for the type, select input. Click OK and click to place the pin. Use Shift and G on the keyboard to bring up the Properties dialog box. Change the name and number to the information of the next pin and keep the shape and type the same. Continue this process for all the pins. For these next pins, set the shape as zero length and the type is bidirectional. When the pin ends in a number, the next pin placed will be sequential. When finished, right click and select end mode or use escape on the keyboard. If you do not want the pin name and number visible on the part, under part properties in the property sheet, uncheck pin name visible. Text can be easily moved and edited. To rotate, select the text, Right click and choose Rotate. To edit text, right click and select Edit Properties or double click on the text. Save and close the part. The part is now visible in the design library. Parts can be modified at any time by double clicking the part name in the design library. Edit all the pins at once by selecting Edit Pins in the property sheet. Join us in the next video where we will search in the default libraries and place parts.